Okay. I'm going to try to explain what we're doing here. <clears throat> Getting ready to do some popping. And uh, I really just want to show some of the details of how we have to go to do this right. Uh, a friend of mine did the brickwork here. He did a very nice job. He left a little bit of a joint. He had the guys leave a little bit of a space so backer rod can be put in and then seal it. This material here is called backer rod. This is what goes in prior to the caulking. I particularly like to use, um, it's called soft cell, it's closed cell, which means it's, there's a plastic coating around the, uh, the backer rod itself, but this is called soft cell, so it's easy to manipulate. Because the other type that is not soft cell, a gas can be released and you can cause bubbles in your caulk can. But basically what we do, first we prep, we very, very finely prep all the surface really good, make sure it's all clean, dry, and sound. That's the main thing. Once that's done, then we go and we poke our, our soft cell back rod in there, just like that. And we get it so it's just back beyond the surface where we want our bead of joint to be. So I'm just going to do a little joint here and show you how we do this. Basically, we're going to lay a, an angled bead in this area right here. Don't want to get too much on there or it gets real messy. And it takes a little while to get the hang of it. It's not, not real easy. So what we do is we take our tool, got a couple different kinds of tools, everybody uses a little something different, these are actual caulking tools, and we lay it on and we pull that bead down so it adheres at both the brick surface and on the face of the window. So run it down one way, like that, and with brick you have to get it down into the, into the actual joint, and there's a little bit of a trick to do that. So we run it back up the other way. And basically that's it. But it takes time to do this, and that's why we charge what we charge to do coffee. It's not uh, it's not a really easy task. Everybody says, oh I can talk, just throw it in there with your finger. But it's not gonna last. A good cost joint like that will last seven to ten years. It's a good urethane MP1 product. Um, but this is just uh, something I wanted to share with everyone uh, to know the difference between somebody just taking their finger and shoving it in there and a professional doing it with a tool and doing it properly. 